Super Mario Odyssey! What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Wow, this is the title screen of this game. I've never seen it before. This is the first time that I'm seeing this and it looks pretty amazing. But welcome back guys to Super Mario Odyssey where today we are going to be continuing our adventure. Last time we completed the Cap Kingdom and the Cascade Kingdom. Rather, we didn't complete them. We just went through them and I guess got a brief little exploration of them. So today, we're making our way to the Sand Kingdom. But before we begin, you guys know the drill. Drop a like on this video and answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys, what are you looking forward to most in Super Mario Odyssey? And here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is, would you like to see this let's play blind so I don't really know what to expect in this episode and uh, I could you know do the entire LP blind and I know some people like blind LPs but considering you know the nature of this game I could pre-play in advance uh, or I could just pre-play or I could just play everything while I record so let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see me play this game blind or if I could play it on my own time and then you know record it afterwards for you guys with a little bit of knowledge of what to do and what to expect I mean I don't mind either way to be honest but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the uh the game as you can see to the next kingdom it doesn't have like loading times like whoa really that's how fast the game loaded what the heck is this a captain toad wait what and we could take his ship he has a drone this is amazing, dude. Hey, kiddo, I'm Uncle Amiibo. Pleased to make your acquaintance and all that. Hey, you got any Amiibo? No, I don't got Amiibo, dude. Gosh, Amiibo are like drugs for Nintendo games, dude. It's like you always meet a shady guy in the middle of a game. He's like, hey, Amiibo, I got ami my Amiibo. Let me teach you about Amiibo. Hey, hey tell Pudge and Speech I'm doing a survey on the Power Moon locations. Having trouble finding Power Moons? I can help you for 50 coins. Want a hint? Nah, I'm Gucci, dude. I don't need your hints. I'm not giving you away. My I'm not giving away my money. So is this actually how I do this? I guess so, you know, I was surprised like, you know, that we're starting here like I thought for for sure We were gonna start off on like the uh, the top hat observatory, you know, oh there it is That's what I thought we were starting out at whoa. This looks different, too And it looks like once we use up all that juice We won't be able to make our way back here, but it's all good We're gonna set sail to the sand kingdom my friends. And that's what happens when you quit the game There we go all the way to the Sand Kingdom. Mario's hat obviously is not on his head. I was a little surprised there for a second, you know. But whoa, this is the first time I believe we're seeing it take off. Oh my gosh. It's flying out of the, uh, the, the, the hole that I was stuck in. Whoa, look at that, dude. All that sand coming out of it. This is pretty amazing. Five moon coins. They advertise it on, you know, the... This, this, the, what's it called? I know it has a name. I can't, I'm so, I feel so stupid. I can't think of the name. The thing that pushes the sailboat. The sail? Is that what it's called? I mean, I don't know. But they're out of, like, whoa! Cappy evolved into a white captain's hat. Dude, this is amazing. I am truly the captain of this ship. No longer Rosalina controlling the observatory. You know, Mario actually did, he was his captain before in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but still, you know. I always like to think of, you know, the first adventure, which was Galaxy, you know, the game that introduced all that stuff. But this is amazing, we're flying away. It's all in the same world, by the way. You know, we're not in the universe or anything like that. Oh, now Mario's inside? Are you gonna tell me he can't breathe in space without a helmet? Whoa, look how decked out this is! So how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Yes, indeed. Now then, uh, we're worried. That monster's name is Bowser. That's right. Well, we'll chase him down in no time to the... You know, something odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground pound. To smash blocks or enemies blow up or, your, uh, or to flatten out bumps on the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Okay. So, uh, press ZL in midder to do ground pound to polarize with your, uh, okay, whatever. I don't have to ground pound. If you need to see more uh, reviews, you might want to look at the action guide. Okay. You know, that's what they do in every Mario game now. They make action guides for you, as you can see. You can ground pound. You can do your hat stuff. Upward throw. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You just, you know, shake upwards. Can I try this? They don't let you try it. I guess you just have to shake upwards. So, you notice how they're showing, like, everything off with the Joy-Cons? Like, I mean, maybe it's because Joy-Cons are the only controllers that come with the Switch. So, 
you know, they have to use Joy-Cons because that's probably what most people are playing the game with. I'm actually playing the game with my Pro Controller today because I finally charged this thing. So, you know, it's pretty nice, I gotta say, to be able to sit far away from my Switch and be able to relax, you know, kick my feet up and enjoy the game on the TV. It's pretty amazing. Look at them discussing this over a cup of coffee. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom too. Uh, as you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand. And as you can imagine, it's quite hot. Uh, there are some ruins there and artifacts called the Binding Band that links people forever like a wedding ring. Uh, and this Bowser seems to j just like the sort of creep that would steal the princess. Okay, I got this, dude. So he's stealing the princess to go there to get those wedding band rings so he could forever be with Princess Peach. Yep, that's what's happening. There it is, the Sand Kingdom. Oh my gosh, dude. This is like, you know, the island of, or the world, the planet of Jakku from Star Wars The Force Awakens. By the way, I'm recording this and it's like, you know, 1 a.m. I'm recording this episode immediately after recording episode one. So I'm like super tired because I woke up pretty early today and usually I'm asleep by now. But I mean, this game is too hype for me to be in bed. So if I say anything that might sound a little weird, it's because I'm like sleep deprived almost. Not there yet, but it's, it's getting there. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey as a complete success. But why is it cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of that tower is shining, but how could that be? Could it be a power moon? I guess so. Let's go find out. Let's explore the desert, man. So it looks like everything is like sandboxed into one area. I get it because we're in the sandbox area, literally. Uh, but as you can see, you know, we can't really travel far and wide like Breath of the Wild. I kind of expected it to be like this, you know, where you're going through levels. I, I want to say almost like Banjo-Kazooie, but I it's not really quite like Banjo-Kazooie because we're traveling to those areas rather than, you know, being in one open space. Like, a, it's kind of, it's like, it's not even like Super Mario 64. It's literally like Galaxy because Super Mario 64 is like Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, this is ice! It's pretty cold. So what happens if I stand? I can't even. It looks like I could break it maybe with a lot of ground power. Oh, <gasps> dude, look at that thing. He has a he has a power moon in him. How do I get him? I gotta I gotta I gotta toss this hat up so like that. But I don't see him anymore. Where'd you go? He ditched me. Oh, there he is. Wow, I have to chase him just to get the power moon. You're really gonna make me work for this? Okay, it's fine. I'm excited. So it's cap jump. Hold Y after throwing your cap and then spin in place for a while. Uh, run into the cap and take a big bounce off of it. So this is what happens. And then, okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly what it's done like. So you're gonna do this. Okay, that's that's exactly what it is. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna do it again. Woohoo! Hold Y and then step into the cap. There you go. Oh, that's what it was. I think I was showing off in the last episode. But this is also another different move where you just you run into him and jump like that, you know? This is a little cool. <gasps> Look at that! It's a sombrero Koopa Troopa! Look at him, dude! Mario, you're shivering. You're cold. At least there's no, like, penalty for, you know, not doing anything about the, the cold like Breath of the Wild. Hey, dude! Up for a challenge? Everyone loves walks, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. That's why trace walking is all about. If you can walk like a champ, you'll win a prize. Sure, it sounds like fun. We're really gonna race Cooper the Quick right now. Sweet! This is awesome, dude. Okay, the rules are kicked. Just rock around the follow uh, and follow the arrows on the ground. Uh, here's the fun part, though. The arrows disappear after a bit. You got about it's scored about 80 or more to win. Let's go. Okay. So I just gotta walk and follow the arrows on the ground. Alright, so just like that. So what happens if I, you know, get out of bound, you know? I don't know. Did I lose? Oh, let's see how I did. Oh my gosh, I don't think I did 80. I totally butch- 95! Wow, I did even better. I gotta give myself a little more credit. Uh, that walk was serious business. Boom, the power moon is yours. He gave me a power moon. What a sucker. We scammed him. I'm sorry, Koopa the Quick, but that was worth a lot more than just, you know, a quick spin around the cactus. I'm just saying, dude. And look at that, another power moon just right in the open for me to grab. Dude, this place is massive. I love it. Oh, finally, we get some music. Woohoo! I, I can't uh, do some bounces from here. We're gonna do it this way, actually. All right, wall jump. Okay, you can't even wall jump from there either. All right, that's not gonna work. Um, hmm. Oh, you, what the heck? Bullet bills? Bullet bills up there? 
Yo, I we got a new objective, guys. Possess the bullet bill. Is there even some here? There's this thing. Okay, I want to just stand here. Is it quicksand? It is quicksand. Whoa, we're sinking. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm jumping. I got you. I'm going to save you, buddy. There you go. Look at that. It's a bullet bill. Whoa, we possessed him, bro. Oh, he's coming after me. He's coming after me. All right, so what happens if I do this, though? I'm going to just, you know, crash into this thing. We got another power moon. Oh, yeah, on the leaning pillar. So, I mean, how many power moons do you want me to get? Oh, gosh, he's about to explode. Oh, no. I almost died. That was pretty close. Uh, is there going to be another one that's going to come here, maybe? Uh, that would be nice. So let's actually see where I need to go next. There's another power moon up there. I just wonder how to get that. That's a very good question. Um, I guess we'll go down here. We'll see what's what we can explore. Hold and throw. What is this? An acorn? Oh, that's pretty dope. Uh, you can also shake the pro controller to throw farther. There you go. That's not a good throw. Let me try it again. Woohoo! That was actually a pretty good throw. I like that. Let's give it to these uh, birds. Hey, you. Hey, hey! I got some acorns. Here. Have it. Wow. He doesn't want my peace offering. Well, you know what, man? Screw you. I don't need to give you any gifts to make you like me. All right. Let's get up here. Let's climb all the way over here. How come it's like the music plays whenever I enter this area? Maybe this is like the main area of the Sand Kingdom. Dude, I love it. It's nice and deserty. You know, I'm going to chase those coins just until I finally grab them. I might as well just go the opposite way that they're headed. And this is it, man. The ruined sand pillar. Okay. This is another checkpoint area. Let's grab on this thing. Oh, just coins. Uh, let's go ahead and read this sign. What does it say? Dude, I love the music for this. I'm digging it. Travel tip. Ground pound. Really? To smash blocks or enemies below or uh, you are flattening out the bumps in the ground. Nothing beats a ground pound. Yes, I understand how to ground pound. You don't have to tell me again. Um. Oh, yeah. There's another block here. Oh. Oh, is that a moon coin? There's definitely a moon. Not a coin, but it's just a moon. A, a moon. Po a power moon. Go ahead and kill these guys. I'm going to kill you. Wait, how come they're not dying? Oh, they really have to just be stomped on. How is it something so tiny and maybe cute can do so much damage on me like that? I don't understand. But guess what? We're about to destroy this. Boom! Oh, yeah. The third moon coin of the episode. Inside a block is a hard place. That's right. Inside a block is indeed a hard place. So, it looks like you can actually collect all the moon coins on the first try. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any restrictions, which is the beauty of this. Like, you can just do whatever the heck you want, man. And uh, it's actually pretty awesome, I gotta say. Oh, look at that. It's another one of those Super Mario levels. Those Super Mario Bros. levels. Oh, gosh. Oh! Okay, that's good. I somehow managed to live. Woohoo! Boom! Very nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my way through this. Actually... Let me see what happens if I do that. Nothing. I just, you know, get rid of the cacti here. I'm trying to think of what game had these things in them. I, I, I feel like I remember it, but I just, I can't say it because I don't know. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Go ahead and hit this. Oh, they even made some nice music for this as well. That's pretty awesome. Everything is remixed. All right, let's go over here and grab these things. I don't know what they are. Oh, those are what? Those are the coins in this kingdom. Oh, okay. So, oh, another moon coin or a power moon. Another one. That's, dude, these things are getting way easier to find, man. Oh, and I think I understand this. You're going to have to use the bullet bill to, you know, get across. All right, come here. Come here, bullet bill. Let me, you know, accelerate me all the way there. All right. And then since I can't, you know, do anything, I'm going to just bounce out of him. Very nice. From a crate in the ruins. Oh, no, come back. Dude, you ditched me. I should have had him face the other way. Oh, you can even break ice. That's pretty nice. Yo, look at that. That's like a Rob robot, dude. I think that's what Rob stands for. Robot something. But let's go see what it is. Possess it. Oh, my gosh, dude. Atop the highest tower. That's the moon coin that I need. Uh, there's a moon coin right there as well. Let's see. Hmm. This is the entire Sand Kingdom. It's pretty massive. There's a moon coin over there. I think that's where we started. No, we didn't start there. We started actually over there. So you could zoom in as well. You know, whoa, it'll get so HD too. It's like the Sheikah Slate. 
You know, I'm gonna keep making references to Breath of the Wild because there is only one game that compares to this game right now, and it's Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is my favorite. Oh, and that's the bird with the moon coin in him. That's pretty awesome. So we found him. Dude, this place is huge. Is that a no? That's not a bob bomb. Looks like those uh, those Beyblade-like things from Super Mario Galaxy. But I think that's where we need to be for sure. Um, it looks like that's how you get up there. You're gonna play in the 2D Mario, Super Mario or Mario Bros, and then just bloop, 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 make your way all the way up there. Okay, I got this. I could do this. So how do I exit this thing? Oh, you just click ZL. That's it. Literally, you can't really control this thing, you know. Did it just make a DS sound? Wait, hold on. Let me try this again. Okay, never mind. I thought I heard the DS sound, dude. I must be so sleepy that I'm just hearing noises at this point. So, this is actually the way I was supposed to start off the level, I'm sure. But then I ended up getting, you know, uh, a little too carried away. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Woo! But too bad, you know, unfortunate. Oh, just leave me alone! How dare you, dude? How dare you? I'm gonna kill you. That's disrespectful. You can't attack Mario in such a manner. I'm- I- You're my slave. It's actually messed up. I don't know why I would say that to a Goomba. But more coins for me! So what happens if I die? I don't know. I kind of want to try it out just to see what happens. So then I'm aware and I'm prepared. You know, if I do end up dying. But then again, I'll probably just save it for when it actually does happen. So I don't waste my time. But I'm going to have to go back again this way, I'm sure. Uh, oh gosh! That was pretty close. I'm gonna just- oh, you can't. There's only one way to do it, literally, through that. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured it out the first time. Um, and I'm assuming I'm gonna just have to go, yeah, through these platforms over here. I need to make sure the bullet bill doesn't attack me. Actually, there's no way to make sure that. Oh, 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 oh! Leave me alone! No! It's coming after me! I'm just gonna- Oh, no! Whoa! I tried long jumping, but I ended up doing a backflip. That's not cool. But luckily for me, I still landed on that platform. I would have ended up landing on the quicksand. That wouldn't have been fun at all. Because I would have had to redo that. But hey, it's all good. Give me this heart. Oh, yeah. Dude, this game is so cool, man. That's all I got to say. I mean, it is just amazing. You need to experience it for yourself. I feel like it's one thing to watch this, but it's another thing to actually play it for yourself and experience the new Mario game. You know, it's dope. All right, I'm gonna just watch out for these bullet bills. Can I duck? Yes, you can, obviously. Why wouldn't you be able to duck? It's Mario, classic Mario. Ah! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get hit in the face with the bullet bill. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna just watch out this way. Woohoo! Beat him! We could keep going faster, dude. All right, we just gotta make it to the end. Awesome, we made it, but we could end up dying. There you go. All right, what happened? Oh, no! I got hit, dude. Alright, I need to go this way. So, what, wait, it says ZL to crouch? Yeah, there you go. That's what I need to do. I was kind of scared to click ZL because I thought, for example, if I did, Mario would come out of this somehow. But I just realized that he's not really possessed. He's not possessing anything. You know? And Wait, 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 wait. No, don't tell me that's it! I want to continue exploring! Atop the highest tower. So that is the fifth moon coin. Is that enough to really get us out of this level? It, it is not enough. Uh, well, at least, you know, we could still continue playing. Moon shards in the sand. Moving on to the next. Wait, what happened? The level just changed up somehow? Did it really change up everything? Let's see. Uh, unless it's just specifically talking about this part. I don't know. But let's go ahead and go. Not waste any time. I wonder what happens if I did that. Okay, well, I filled that, obviously. Let's see if I do this. <laughs> I fell and I'm dying! I have to witness Mario die, man. So maybe if you, like, lose all your coins, you get a game over. It would explain why they give you so many coins in this game. But I'm not gonna let that happen again. I'm gonna be careful. There you go. That was not far enough. There you go. That's also not far enough. I'm too scared, you know, to make my way closer. Nope, that's not far enough either. Whatever. It's fine. I don't need to do this anyways. You know, I'll live. Um, I feel like I should grab these. 
Well, no, never mind, dude. Whatever. It's it's cool. I don't need them right now. I'll come back to them when I have a little more confidence in myself. But for now, I'm a little scared. I'm just gonna keep going. Mario's too cold, as you can see. He doesn't want to do anything but warm himself up. And I would probably want to do the same thing. I'd be like, just get me out of here. I'd feel like Luigi, you know? Just, you know, useless at that point. Alright, there you go. That's how it's done. But... Oh, I think we're gonna need to also do it on this thing up front. Alright, here we go. Before it's too late. Woohoo! That's all it did. Just activate some coins. Or gra grab me some coins. Woohoo! Very nice. Moai habit. Or, ha yeah, habitat. Not habit, but this is the Moai. These things right here. Oh, we could possess some, dude! So we could take off the shades. So put on the shades. Look at that. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm enjoying the sun. And then, ah! The, the sand! It's too hot! Somebody! Give me shoes! That's what I feel like he'd be doing. Can we kill him? What happens if I walk- Oh gosh, no! Don't do this. That's not cool. Don't actually do what I just did. That's- That's a big no-no. How are these things floating? What the heck? Is this a glitch? I don't think it's a glitch, but they're somehow floating on top of that. It doesn't make sense. And they're not even fluttering their wings. They're just standing there. What the heck, dude? Game, explain this to me. Unless there's... Oh, I think I get it. Oh! Silly me, that was a hint to, you know, just keep walking. I get it now. So I'm supposed to do it nice and slow. Very nice. Look at that, dude. Just keep following the way. Oh, gosh. Well, that's not cool. Oh, you know what? I think I got this. Bowser sure was stomping around in a huff. I'm gonna go ahead and possess him, and then follow the path, maybe. Nope, that didn't work, and that kills you instantly as well. You know, this kind of reminds me of those sand levels in Super Mario 3D Land. Not world, but land. They had like open world levels for just, you know, a couple... It wasn't like super big or anything like that, but it was, it was decently sized. Oh, you know what? Let me try to break this ice block, maybe. And then it'll, like, make a way of, you know, P blocks. Or blue coin blocks. I don't know. But we'll see. As soon as it does, I guess I'm gonna just put my shades on to walk slow. Okay, come on. Dude, break it, man. How do you break this? You, he's so useless. He can't even jump. Alright, let me get off of this guy. Um... Let me get up here. I feel like there's a way to be able to break this. Maybe you need like a fire flower. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Okay. Uh, hold on. Can I get this thing from just using Cappy? Nope, Cappy doesn't reach, unfortunately. Alright. Ow, dude! I didn't mean to do that! But hey, we got a coin out of this, which is fun. So, oh, there's another one of these things right here. I'm gonna just try to collect all the ones that I can see, and obviously in front of me, but then I'm gonna save the ones that I can't for, you know, a later time. Okay, so as you can see, I can run ac across this thing. Pretty nice. Can I do it with this one? Yes, I can. All right. And then I don't know if I'll be able to make it across this. How am I supposed to, like, know? Oh my gosh, that's not cool. And the thing is, with these things, you can't really, you know, jump. At all, actually. Hmm, those footsteps. Where was he headed? I don't know! Where was he headed, dude? Tell me. Am I supposed to, like, follow footsteps? I don't see any footsteps. Uh... There's another one of these things. That's pretty cool. So I need two more, and there's one in the poison lake, and then there's one all the way up top there. I'm doing all this for just a moon coin. See, there's a footstep here. I don't know what Bowser was doing here, you see? Uh, the footsteps, they stop right there, okay? They're right there. Now I see the footsteps somehow, but before I couldn't see them. Okay, the footsteps are going this way, and then around here. You see that? There's no way he fell off, dude. Bowser wouldn't just kill himself like that. Alright, I'm gonna climb this thing. There you go. 
Oh gosh. So I can walk across this. But I don't know how far I can actually walk without dying. Alright. Grab him. Alright, there you go. We got some. We got one, two, three. Very nice. It's just, where, where does this thing end at, though? I don't know. Unless I could just walk all the way. Oh, my goodness. What if I could just do this? Like, walk all the way across now. Should I try? I mean, there's only one way to find out. And obviously, that's not how it goes. Okay, I made it up here. I think I'm going to just jump and kill myself to get this moon star thingamajig. Oh, I did it. Bro. Okay, now I'm just stuck in the middle of this thing, dude. Um, I don't think this was the wisest decision I've done, but it's whatever because we died, you know? There's only one way to escape this. Does it, like, at least give me the moon coin that I still grabbed? I have four of them now, so I just need to get the last one somehow. And that last one, as you can see, it's over there. So I think I figured out how to do it. It's not that hard. All I need to do is just follow the path. But instead of going the path that I normally would go through, I'm actually going to go a different route. Uh, so first and foremost, we just got to get across this way. And then we're going to go this way like this. There you go. And then I'm going to, I hope that there's like a path leading this way. I mean, that would be fantastic. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Woohoo! Yeah, we did it guys. We got all five of the moon miniature coin things. And now we can get the moon coin for realsies this time. But still doesn't answer my question. What is the purpose of having these guys, you know? They proved no benefit to me. They were absolutely useless here. I'm sure they'll serve a purpose sometime later on. Oh, they even got those sprouts! What is it with enemies in Mario games having those sprouts? Wait, is that Mario has them growing out of his nose? Oh my gosh, I don't get this. This is creepy. He has stuff sticking out of his nose, man. This is not cool. Hey, look at this. We activated the pyramid. Pretty nice. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. This is it. A boss battle. Bowser! Okay, we gotta go do this right now. Who would have guessed that we would be battling Bowser, like, right now? I mean, this is awesome. So we're moving on to the next area. Is this thing an enemy? I could possess this, right? Yeah, I could definitely possess this. We definitely had this thing before. So let's go ahead and zoom in to get a better look at this. There he is, the evil Koopa King, dude. Dude, his Koopa Cruiser looks amazing. It's all decked out for a wedding. I love it. All right, let's get out of here. No time to waste. We have a princess we need to save. What the heck? More Koopas? No, they're not. They're these, uh, the things from Paper Mario games. I don't know if they're villains or not, but... They look like they're friendly people. Let's read this. Uh, travel tip. Roll! When you want to move quickly or zip down a hill, crouch down, press Y, and you'll be able to roll. All right, let's do this. Oh, look at that! You could even, you know, spin. Ow, that hurt. That's not what I wanted to do, but hey. This is what I wanted to do. A car? What? What? What is this, dude? What are you doing here? You're so random. I've got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this, it's a mess. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Brr. Okay, well, that's kind of random. He's definitely not from this time. Looks like he's from, you know, New York or that one city. Hey, another moon that we found. Lost in the luggage. Pretty nice. Replenished my HP as well. I'll, I'll take that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more moon coins that we need to find. This is going to be exciting to come back and, like, you know, explore this and find all the moon coins. I'm definitely looking forward to doing this. I mean, this is like a whole brand new adventure that I've never played. Inside the inverted pyramid. This is it, dude. The pyramid that's inside out. Or upside down, rather. Okay, so I, I guess I got to, you know, possess this guy. Woohoo! And just make my way across. Hey, hold Y to accelerate. Woohoo! We just blew it up, dude. That sucks. It lived a very short life, you know? It was born the moment it came out of the the pipe, and then it died immediately after. You know, it's a sad life of a bullet bill, I must say. So I think I understand how to do this. You want to jump like this? Oh, what the heck? This is literally Super Mario Galaxy. They have levels like this, exactly like this. So you want to jump all the way like that, you know, avoid getting hurt. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up, oh, oh, nope, not today. 
You can't do this to me. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get gonna get whoa! That was close. That was a very close call. I almost got, you know, smacked in the face with them, but did we make it to the end of this? Oh, there's still more. That's totally fine. I'll take it. More practice for me. And I'll grab these coins. You know, you can't go wrong with Oh no! Dude! Why did you gotta do this to me? How come they, they they took away my uh oh maybe it's because I died, that's why. But I had like six HP. Like in Super Mario Galaxy, you can get an additional three HP. It's like armor, protective armor for yourself. Oh, I thought that was water. Maybe it is a little bit of water. Alright, we made it out, guys. I think I've gotta possess this thing. Oh yeah, very nice. And then make my way across somehow. Uh do I gotta possess another one? It looks like it. Somehow get over there. Alright, that's not gonna be hard. Alright, you need to just chill. Like, you're not even of any use right now. I'm gonna just crash into that wall. Maybe they'll start coming in through here. Yeah, there you go. You gotta leave a bigger open space for them. And then it looks like we gotta just avoid these things. Woohoo! What the heck was that? Oh, it's one of these flower things. And then ground pound, maybe. Woohoo! Very nice. Alright, go ahead and bust that down. I wish- Oh, maybe there's gonna be a heart somewhere in here. I should probably break them all. Alright. No, 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 do that- do that spinning thing. There you go. Nope. No, the spinny thing, bro! Bro, the spinny thing! He's not doing it. How come he's not doing it? Okay, so- No, 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 that's the wrong thing, dude. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. It was a lot harder to do with the Pro Control than it is with the Joy-Con. Joy-Con, it's easy because, you know, you can just spin it in your hand or twist it in your hand. Oh, we made it, guys! This is it. Are we really going to battle Bowser already? I mean, it looks like it. So here we go. Oh, no, obviously we're not. It's going to be one of these guys. Hey, what's up? So who did I battle last time? I think the green guy. It's the Brutal! Looking for the binding band, chumps? Too bad! The boss has it now! And you guys ain't invited to the wedding. Well, that's cool, because I didn't want to come anyways. Oh gosh, what does she have? She has, a uh, Something that she shouldn't have. A very powerful weapon. Okay, I, I got- Oh! I gotta hit it back at her. I got it. Okay, fine. I should probably adjust myself, like right here. Go ahead. Oh, that's a big one. Uh-oh. That's not cool. All right, I'm gonna hit it back at you. Oh, that worked. I hit it back at her, and then she doesn't have a hat. And then just jump on her head. Pretty nice. Uh-oh. And then I gotta avoid getting smacked by her. She's angry. She's dropping bombs like crazy, dude. You need a chill, woman. Like, sh listen to that diabolical scream. That does not sound fun at all. I just, you know, I want to run away and cry. Leave me alone. How long does this fire last? Oh, man, this is, this is crazy. Lots of fire. All right, I'm gonna wait. Should I hit it back? I guess I'll hit it back. Oh, wow, that actually didn't really work out well for me, you know? All right, I'm gonna hit it back real quick. Oh, no, that sucked! I got hit! All right, it's whatever, it's fine, you know? I wasn't sure what to expect from her, but I think I got the hang of this. It's just the, the amount of time her fire stays on the ground is what threw me off. Alright, and... Oh, it's not gonna work either. Dude, it blows up like immediately. I guess I have to be like in the area that she's in in order to get this to work. Alright, watch out. Alright, final one. Go ahead, throw it, and then I'm gonna wait right here. It's probably the best place to do it. Alright, very nice. Alright. Oh, yeah, there you go. I think you just gotta hit it. Just send it back. You don't actually have to hit it in a specific direction. Um, I guess that's what I was thinking I needed to do. Alright, come back here. Let me jump on your head. Alright, one more time. She's not like the first one. The first Brutal, that only took two hits, and then they died. This time around, it takes three. But maybe I did something special to make him die. Oh, she made a V. She's spelling out her name? I don't think so. Alright, watch out. We're good. Just gotta make sure I stay alive. I wish, like, heart spawned, but I mean, then again, you know, maybe this boss is so easy that they don't need hearts. But the game knows that you don't need hearts to beat it. Alright, and... Hit it back! There you go! See, had I known that you could just do that, I would have never gotten hit at all. I mean, it would have been pretty easy. Alright, oh, come back here! Stop running away! 
You crazy clown! There you go. We did it, guys. We defeated her. Bugs Bunny's sister. Oh, yeah. See you later, emo Bugs Bunny sister. And she dropped a nice batch of moon power stars coins. I don't know why I keep calling them moon coins, man. This entire episode, I've been referring to these moon power, these power moons as moon coins. They're just power moons, that's all. We got a multi-moon showdown on the inverted pyramid. So, does this go towards, like, the power moons that we have already for this level? Because I know we had, like, ten remaining, so that means we have, like, seven left. There he is, Captain Mario. It's getting dark. Are they gonna explain what was going on with Mario's nose? Like, why he had spikes and stuff sticking out of him? I mean, the game hasn't said anything about that. That was kind of random. The hole in the desert, dude. Okay, wow, that's pretty cool. You could just keep going and going and going and going. That brutal slowed us down a bit where we're still racking up power moons. That's right. How odd. The inverted pyramid is floating and it's gotten so much colder. Uh, is this more of that Bowser's doing? I say he does make trouble, doesn't it? He? That's right, he does. So, let's go ahead and look for some more power moons because obviously we need six more before we can make our way to the next kingdom. So the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be playing through each kingdom first and then once we collect enough power moons to like, you know, uh, make our way to the next kingdom, I'll leave to go to the next kingdom and then just continuously do that throughout the entire game. Just, you know, that way we can explore everything in the game first. Oh gosh, am I going to be able to do it? Oh, we barely made it, dude, and it actually gave us a power moon. It reminds me of those musical notes in Super Mario 3D World, or Land, rather. I think they're also in World, I want to say. Maybe not. I think they're just in Land. Yo, look at this. A Lakitu is stuck in the ice. Yo, somebody save him. He's going to die. I don't know. He's probably already dead, or maybe he's just frozen. You know, some people will freeze themselves hoping that, you know, they'll be able to come back in the future. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's actually a thing. So I, I was reading somebody did that. I'm saying I don't know if it's a thing that, you know, they'll be able to come back. Maybe it's just, it's just false hope or something like that. Oh, gosh. Who would have thought, you know, being a Goron here would have uh, hurt me, but we need more moon power. Power moons, that's what we need. Oh, gosh, leave me alone, you zombies. Look at all these Goombas, bro. They all come out to play at night. This isn't cool, man. Like, I, I don't want to deal with these guys right now. Let's actually go back to town. I think there's a power moon. Yeah, see that? There's a power moon up on the roof, like where the bell is. Let's go find how. Let's see, how do we get that? Oh, we just climbed the back of this, dude. That, that is easy. I don't know how I couldn't figure that one out by myself, you know? Woohoo! I mean, I did. That's what I just... I, I, I don't know where I was going with that thing. Like I said, I'm very tired. It's pretty late here. I shouldn't be recording this video right now. But again, Odyssey hype, dude. What can I say? So that's another... Oh, there's a warp pipe also back here. Let's see what's inside of this warp pipe. Um, this, this area looks like this area, like, I remember seeing an outfit, like, this outfit that they're wearing, I wonder how to get it, I'm sure you get it in this area somehow, but I don't know, there is a prize in this party room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it, walk around, feel the rumble, let it move to, uh, the prize, okay, so pretty much this is, rem this reminds me of the Super Mario 3D World, uh, level things where you get like stamps and stuff okay i feel the rumble here oh there it was it's another power moon dude are you serious we got a moon so i'm gonna call these things moons or power moons i don't know the game's confusing me do you want me to call them moons do you want me to call them power moons pick one of the two game for realsies what is this parrot doing here hey what do you gotta say dude his name is Takatu. What is the secret you're seeing? I know, I know it, aha! I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. The treasure of Jaxi Ruins. It's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it, go find it. Scra! Okay, fine, dude. I'm, I'm, I'll go find the power of whatever you just said. Somewhere around here. So, let me pick up these things. For some reason, whenever you pick them up, the game automatically saves. Maybe it's because they're deemed, like, more important than, like, Power Moon somehow. I don't know how that's even, how that makes sense, but we got another checkpoint. Tostarina Town! That's what it's called, Tostarina Town. We've been seeing that word Tostarina everywhere, but 
Uh, let's see. What do you guys have to say? Instead of dancing, whoa! The desert isn't safe at night. Ride a jaxi and you leave, or and you leave to leave town, bro. This is pretty dope. Look at this guy. How do I ride him? Hey, can I ride you, dude? What do, what do I gotta do to ride you? How you doing? I'm what you call a jaxi. It's, you know, Jack, but he's kind of like a taxi. 30 coins? Of course, buddy. I'll pay you 30 coins. And he wants to take me to the inverted pyramid. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa, look at this, dude. I'm going so fast. This is a little too fast for my liking. Okay, maybe slow down just a wee bit, you know? I can't. I mean, I guess I can a little bit, but he's still going way too fast. You think he can, like, run through the poison? <gasps> he can! Yo, this is pretty awesome. Okay, slow down, dude. You're too fast. I can't deal with these sharp turns. Wait a second. Can I get in through here? Oh, my gosh. I can. Where is this going to take me? Please take me to a power moon. Oh, my goodness, dude. This is amazing. I bet you I'm going to find a power moon somewhere in here. All right, go ahead. Ride him, dude. All right, I got to just probably break, you know, to be able to get through this in one piece. He's so fast, dude. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I'm a little scared to let go. Oh, you can't tame the beast. You can't tame him, dude. You can't hold him for too long. He just wants to run. Let him run free. Let him, let, 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 let him run loose like a lion or something. I don't know. I don't know what he's supposed to I think he's supposed to be a lion. All right, let's go. Go ahead. Run all the way up here. Oh, no. No, you killed us, dude. Why do you got to do this? Because you're so fast and hasty, man. You can't just... I got to learn how to tame him somehow. I wonder if there's even like a power moon back here. I feel like there should be one. All right, let's make our way across. Ooh, slow down. Oh, gosh, this is crazy, dude. It reminds me of riding... Uh, those weird dolphin-like creatures in Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, wow. I really got to get all of these things. All right. I think I could do it. And flip, flip, flip around. There you go. Whoa, we made it. And there's a moon coin. Okay. Or a power moon. I keep calling them moon coins. Gosh, this is so upsetting. I'm going to get mad at myself if I keep doing this. They're called power moons. I'm sorry. I know. I got this. We got a moon. Jaxi stunt driving. That's actually the mission that our friend told us about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 dude. You need to chillax. You're scaring me here. Just take me to the end of this place already. Like, for realsies. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm going to leave. I can't do this. I'll come back to this one later. At least we got, you know, the power moon. That's all I came here for. I just wanted one of them power moons, you know, to satisfy my craving. And that's it. So I wonder inside the pyramid if we're going to find more power moons. I mean, it makes sense that you will, but I couldn't be too sure. What is that over there? Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Please, please. Crazy ghost. Leave me alone. I see some weird light. Oh, that's just a light post. Okay. Um, wait a second. Oh, <gasps> what is this? Yo. You can see something at the other side of the picture. Me too. It's like Super Mario 64. Jump in the poster and it takes you to a new world. Okay, we're, we're not going to do that yet. Oh my gosh, dude. What the heck is wrong with you? Just leave me alone. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, obviously, I don't want to do the new world yet. You know, we got to finish this one first before we can, you know, jump to the next one. It's pretty cool how they have it like hidden in this world. I wonder how many, like, worlds will have, like, you know, worlds hidden within them. An underground temple. Here we are, guys. Whoa, this ice is slippery. All right, so these are the things that I felt to hit earlier on in the episode. But I guess when you hit them, essentially they activate, like, those, uh, what is it called? Those, those weird bomb things. They're famously known from 3D World, and they're also famously known from Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, except, oh, they keep activating by themselves. What the heck, man? This is crazy. You know what? Come here, little dude. I might need you for this one. Look at that, dude. Goombas have no problem with ice. They don't slip whatsoever. This is phenomenal. All right. What the heck, dude? Look at it's a stack of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these guys. Come here. Oh yeah. Look at this. We got a stack of Goombas. So let me pick this part up. Yep, yeah, that's not really extra hearts for me. All right, what happens if I do like this? Okay, you can jump a little bit. 
Uh, I wonder if I like add him to my stack if I could do it. I, I know I could probably just jump out of here with Mario, but I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna climb these guys. And I'm gonna jump on this guy. Oh gosh, no, get on them. There you go. I'm surprised they just didn't auto jump all the way, you know? That would have made more sense. Now, can we get this without having to, you know, struggle? We did it, dude. We got a moon. Goomba Tower assembled. You know, this is like a nice reference to The Legend of Zelda, uh, Triforce Heroes. You know, I love this, dude. There's so many references to so many different games. It's just amazing. This is like the perfect game, dude. Uh, did I tell you guys that Breath of the Wild is my favorite game? It truly is my favorite game for many reasons. I'm a big fan of The Legend of Zelda. I've always been a big fan my entire life. And I just love the open world style of that game. Everything about that game is perfect in my opinion. Um, but I don't know if this game will be able to top it. I mean, we'll see. So far, it's doing a pretty good job. But then again, you know, Breath of the Wild is amazing. Like... You can't easily just top it in one day. So we'll have to see, you know. But I'm liking this game a lot so far. I gotta say that. Oh gosh, the thing's about to explode. Go ahead, pop out of him. All right, where are we headed to right now? Oh gosh. Woohoo. Grab on him. There you go. Very nice. Will I be able to make it all the way through these things? Probably so. I just need to stop, like, not. I just gotta go straight. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, there you go. Oh gosh, he's about to explode. Speed up. There you go. All right, where did we head to? What is this place? We're dunking down somewhere. Oh, the deepest underground. All right, looks like there's going to be a boss battle. Um, I don't think it's going to be a brutal because we just beat a brutal. So it's probably something else. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Ew, dude, look at that. It's a weird idol-like thingy. Is that really what we're going to be battling right now on this field? You know what this stage reminds me of? It reminds me of Super Mario 3D World. Like where you used to battle those histocrat snakes and then you used to battle those weird uh, super golem thingamajigs. Mega golem, I guess, on the fire field or the lava field. And then you also used to battle another enemy, those weird uh, square-like things that switch around. I don't know what they're called, but oh, we're actually battling this. Where ring go? I didn't take it, dude. Bowser did. You take ring. I didn't take your ring, bro. Stop accusing me. Mario doesn't like being accused, you know? So what am I supposed to do? Just let him hit the ice or something? I'm thinking that's what I need to do. It, it looks like there's actually some hearts. Ouch. Da -da the glass hurt me so we're gonna control this thing all right watch out for him oh yeah punch him in the face that'll teach you that's right sucker don't mess with the mario squad all right i'm gonna try to get him to hit this block or these things oh nice he did it no 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 no, no. you gotta hit this one please 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 hit it for me oh no he's making weird diamonds fall from the sky all right well not really diamonds but okay Hey, it actually worked. Are you serious? Okay, you need to chillax, bro. Stop hitting me with your diamonds. Oh, gosh. Wow, I literally got knocked out of his hand somehow. Maybe it's because he kept hitting me. He got scared. He really did. He feared for his life, which is fine. I guess I would do the same thing. All right. I got to watch out. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Smack him in the face. That looks like it would hurt really bad. And I like this. This is like a nice reference to the two hands that you fight inside the pyramid, you know, in Super Mario 64. They also did it in this game. We're inside of a pyramid. We're fighting two hands, but this time his eyes are sh are, sh are shield. Oh gosh, dude. Oh no. What did you do, Mario? Why did you side flip? I tried long jumping, but you know, I really sucked at that, but it's whatever, you know, it's all good. All right, all right, go ahead, right here. No, this one, yes. Listen to me. Can I actually just possess him? Like, there you go. Possess him right now. Ha <laughs> ha Look at it. I love that face. Face of fear. That's what you get, sucker boy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Now we destroyed him. Oh, he gives us three moon pieces. Or three power moons. That's awesome. So we definitely have more than enough to make our way to the next kingdom. Still, we're not nearly close to 100%ing, you know, this entire 
Let's actually take a look real quick. There's a way to check out the map. There you go. So you can select any checkpoint flag you've activated, then press A to fly straight to it. Pretty cool reference. I mean, that's not a reference. It's like Breath of the Wild, you know, where you could travel from one shrine to the next just by activating your map. So we can actually see all the checkpoints we've gotten. Uh, where are the checkpoints? Maybe you can't do it right here because we're inside the desert hole. But it does tell you maybe. Dude, this is really cool, man. It's like a brochure. We're like traveling, man, for real. Sand Kingdom, home of, home of red sand and lively locals. Tostarina, gates to uh, gateway to the stark beauty of the desert. Population, size. It tells you everything you need to know about this place. Oh, it even tells you about the boss right here. See, right here. There you go. Oh, no, no, that's not them. That's the Moais. What about the boss? Doesn't say anything about the boss. All right, fine. Let's grab our power moons and get out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way to the next kingdom, obviously. So that's pretty much how this game is going to work. I think I got the vibe for how I'm going to do it. You just play the kingdom, con collect enough power moons to make your way to the next kingdom. Once we've done that successfully, we go to the next kingdom, so on and so forth until we beat the game. And then we go back and repeat the adventure again. But this time, take our sweet time in every kingdom enjoy it find all the power moons find all the you know the purple whatever they are triangles donuts whatever they may be in every kingdom because they've seemed to be shifting every single time uh but that, man that seems like a pretty exciting adventure to me Woo! it's so hot now but i do suppose that's what we're trying to accomplish if we keep up the pace we'll catch bowser in no time that's right do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, put me on the globe. Let's check it out. I bet you we do. Check it out, Mario. Woohoo! We had five. And now we collected, I don't even know how many. It's like 16. So that means we'd have like 23, 22. Uh, I think it'd be 23. Let me see. Yeah, 23 power moons. The Odyssey has powered up. Yes, it did. So let's actually see what kind of kingdoms we have next. Um, oh, look at that. It's split into two. Pretty nice. So uh, we've heard a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? Lake Kingdom or Wooded Kingdom? Oh, guys, which one should I go to? The Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think I want to do the Lake Kingdom. I mean, this looks amazing. We could play with cheap cheaps already I, th I think we should do this one but ultimately decisions up to you so let me know what a kingdom or lake kingdom but that's gonna be it for this episode thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed guys don't forget to drop a like and i'll see you all in the next one peace out